Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Today I'm going to do a project review for you on a project that I've done in the past. And uh, specifically I want to show you the way that I set up these concert lights so that we can replace them with flares in After Effects so that they'll look something like this. And uh, we can kind of have those blinking concert lights, right? And we're able to change the color and we're going to be able to do all this in After Effects, which is great. There's definitely ways to do this in cinema, but uh, I don't really like playing with uh, that kind of lighting in cinema when there's so much flexibility in After Effects. So uh, what I did here was I put a null on each of these lights. So if we go to these nulls, you can see that they're right on the glass. And uh, it's got to be exactly where that light is because a lot of these have rotation and uh, movement on them as well as the cameras moving. Uh, so that null is going to give us all the data we need. And then all you have to do is put a compositing or an external compositing tag on them and that will bring that null into After Effects. And then you have to go into your uh, save and in the compositing project file save that and that will give you an AEC file. And let's go ahead and jump into After Effects here. So when you bring in that AEC file, this is what's going to open up. So you get this kind of gnarly mess, right? Uh, so we got our video board, which I'm not going to go into right now. Uh, for right now, let's just turn that off. So the main thing is all of these nulls, right? So how are we going to get our flares on these nulls? Well, what I ended up doing was I made a, a pre-comp. So let's go ahead and delete these guys. All right, so I have this square composition. And what I did was I went to Layer, New, Solid. And let's bring it over here and oh, hit OK. And then we're going to go to uh, Video Copilot Optical Flares. And if you don't uh, have this, you can definitely do this effect without it. But I really do like optical flares. So let's go ahead and go to our options. Let's go ahead and hit X on all of these except for the glow ones. So we have all of these extra things on the flare that we don't really need. Let me just close those out. And we will keep the glow because that's what we're interested in. We can go ahead and scale that guy up a little bit and we'll hit OK. So now we've got our flare. Now we can go into our optical flares and let's go ahead and scale that up a little bit more. Now this is going to cut off on the edges giving us a harsh edge. So we're going to want to go ahead and double click on our circular mask and let's go ahead and go to our mask feather by hitting F. And let's feather that out a little bit. And let's go ahead and hit MM. And that will give us all of our mask options. And we're going to bring down the expansion so it kind of contracts itself a little bit. So we just stay away from that edge. We don't want a harsh edge. All right, very good. Now let's go ahead and do a effect color correction hue saturation. And what we can do is hit colorize. And let's just crank up the saturation on this guy. And now what we can do is pick our colors that we want. And we'll go ahead and do uh, something blue like that. And before we start messing around here too much, let's go back to our shot and replace it. So we have this flare one, and now we can pick which null we want to replace. Uh, let's go ahead and replace this guy. So what we're gonna do is drag it on top and hold down Alt, and it will replace that null, but it will keep all of the position parameters of that null. And uh, you're not going to see anything. That's because when you replace a null, um, by default, the opacity is at 0%, which is very strange. And you definitely have to know about it. It's kind of a weird thing. But all you have to do is hit T for opacity and bring that up. And you're going to get something pretty gnarly. That's because we got to go back into our flare and go to the optical flares. And uh, if we turn on our transparency, uh, we're going to want to have, instead of render mode on black, we want to have that on transparent. And that's going to kind of change the way that it treats the transparency. So if we go back to our shot, you can see that it's still pretty gnarly. The reason is because um, it's reacting to the light in the scene right now. So we got to go to that light and turn it off. And there we get our very nice flare. And if we scrub through here, you're going to see it sticks with the scene quite well. Now the way to uh, change the color of that is go into that flare. And all we're going to do is keyframe that hue saturation. Go ahead and put a keyframe on saturation. And we'll hit U to bring up the keyframe. And then we're going to page down 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to make another keyframe. Page down 1. And then we're going to drop the hue and saturation down to 0. And then all we do is count 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we'll make another keyframe at the zero saturation, one keyframe down, and bring that saturation back up again. And then we just have to copy both of these, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Paste it, and then we can cap all four of these by hitting Command C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that way we're getting kind of the blinking light, right? And uh, that's gonna show up really nice in here. So we get that blinking light. And then if you want, say, this one to be offset a different color from this one, so they're blinking opposite, what you can do is go to that flare and then hit Command D to duplicate it. And then we have flare three. And then all we have to do is take all these keyframes and as this is switching from blue to white, instead of that, we're gonna slide all of them down so that it's switching from white to blue. And then you'll be able to have them kind of blinking uh, offset from each other. So that is the way that I have done flares. Um, it's a pretty easy way. You can change the color pretty easily. You can add glows to them. You can change uh, the opacity. You can add a wiggle expression on the opacity so that they blink a little bit more. I found that it's a pretty good way to add concert lighting effects to your renders. So yeah, this is the final effect. Uh, definitely a nice way to add some final touches onto your Cinema 40 renders in After Effects. Really, really sweet effect. And of course, if you'll notice, I'm using uh, some elements from my industrial pack, so make sure to check that out. I love adding some of those trusses in the background. It's a very, very cool look. All right, uh, I hope you learned something. Thanks for checking out my site, and we will see you soon. Bye, everybody.